Welcome to Learning About Cedar Part 3. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about using the boughs to make a couple of things, um, smudge and natural cleaner. So I'm going to start off by showing you how I kind of peel and process the boughs and then how I can use every part to make some different things. So if you remember, this is a cedar bough, one of the ones I got from Tryon Creek after leaving an offering. I'm going to show you how you fix it to make smudge. So what you're basically you want to do is get all these green leafy parts and keep the branches and the woody parts away. And so you could just grab little pieces. You start in one little branch at a time. You can just peel them off. They'll break off really easily. And you get these little green pieces to use and make smudge. And we'll go through a couple of rounds of this because some people like to break it down really small, some like to keep it a little larger. We're actually going to show you how I make it where I actually grind it up and mix it up with some other smudges. So you just keep doing this with each of your branches. Um, kind of just, they could just peel it off just easy like this with your fingers and get it all. It's nice to have a bag or something to start to collect your boughs in to get ready to use. And then when you end, you're left with these branches, which I'm going to show you afterwards of how you can make tea using these as well. So you can really use every part of the boughs you gathered. Now that you've got your boughs ready, I'm going to start off showing you how to make some natural cleaner because it takes a little longer to do. So I'm going to tell you what you need. Um, you just need some distilled white vinegar here, a spray bottle, a measuring cup, and then I also use a little cedar essential oil to improve the scent a little bit. Um, and then you'll just need a stove and then a pot to boil your boughs in. So I've got a handful here of the cedar boughs we have left over from making our smudge. And it's okay even if you have little bits of cedar in that too because that's got good medicine as well. And a lot of the medicine is actually being drawn out of these small branches and barks. So what we're going to do is take this handful, kind of the leftovers of our cedar boughs, and put it into a pot of water. So you just add it in. Um, sometimes you'll have to break down the branches a little bit. Um, you just really want to get one nice layer on top. Pretty good coverage. And this pot is about half a full of water. And then once you get everything laid in there nicely, you just um, turn the heat on, your stove on, and let the water start to boil. Once your cedar started to boil, um, it starts to come off and give off the steam, which if you kind of waft it in and smell it, it actually smells really nice. And so this also has the added benefit of the steam kind of coming through and purifying and cleaning the air in your house as well. So as you can see, it's boiling pretty good now. So you can go ahead and turn the stove down to kind of a low, medium low. And then it's just going to continue to soak and dry out the good medicines and things from the cedar. So we'll do this for a couple more hours. So now the cedar has been burning overnight. Um, I didn't keep the stove on overnight because that's not safe. But in the evening I brought it back up to a boil to get it nice and hot. And then just let it sit off overnight. And then I boiled it again this morning a little bit. As you can see, the water levels dropped as the steam's evaporated off. And then if you see the water, you've got this nice, deep, dark color. So usually when we make this uh, cleaner, we give it about a day. Um, every so often, we turn it on and bring it up to a boil and then let it simmer a bit. And it just keeps drying out the different medicines and things from the branches and bark. So when it gets this nice kind of dark color, which you'll see in the next step as well, it's good and ready. And then if you can smell it as well, it smells really nice. So once your cedar is cooled down, you can go ahead and drain out the liquid and you can see this nice deep dark uh, brown color. This is a really good color to have. And then once you've got that ready, you measure it up and then you pour it into your spray bottle. And then you take an equal amount of your distilled white vinegar and add it to your spray bottle as well and shake it up. 
and that's really all you need to do to make the cedar cleaner. If you smell it a little bit, you'll get a little bit of the vinegar smell as well still. And so that's why I like to use a little bit of cedar essential oil to help balance out the scent a little bit. Lemon and tangerine also work really well and pair nicely. And so lastly, I'm going to talk about making smudge with cedar. Uh, first, I wanted to share just a little bit about smudging and what it means to me. Um, I've been taught that kind of smudging is a way to kind of purify yourself and the, kind of the atmosphere and environment around you as well. So usually when we're talking kind of a heavy talk, we're bringing people together and trying to start things off in a good way. It's always really nice to start off with a little bit of smudge. And lots of different indigenous groups and tribes use multiple types of smudge. Some use white sage, some use cedar, some use sweet grass, some use copal. And then there's also different types of sage, like the desert sage or the prairie sage as well. And so here in the Northwest, since we have a lot of cedar, um, we use that a lot. And I've been kind of taught that cedar really helps with just wiping you off and wiping you down. And so first off here on the left, you'll see this kind of loose cedar smudge. And really all you need to do is take the cedar you prepared at the beginning and just let it dry really nice. And then you can just have these little pieces that you can light and burn and it burns really well on its own. And then on the right here, we've actually got a little bit of a blended smudge, which I'm going to talk a little more about and let you see how it burns. So as I mentioned, um, after we take our cedar boughs, we like to grind them and mix them with other herbs to make a smudge. So I wanted to show you. Um, it's really fine and powdery and there's these long pieces, which are actually sweet grass. So this one is actually made up of taking probably equal amounts of the cedar boughs. And then we cut up a sweet grass braid to get an equal amount, and then we add a little bit of copal in with it. And we really like this. It's got a really nice, beautiful aroma, and we use it to kind of uplift and clean and really just come into spaces with good intentions we like to use this smudge blend for. And here you can see that it burns really nicely, and that's thanks to the copal. You can also use a little bit of fur sap to kind of do the similar thing and keep it burning really nicely. And we make this blend by just putting it all together in an old coffee grinder and blending it together. And then you can keep adding more of the different scents and medicines that you need to kind of find the blend that you like best. Hayumasi, thank you for joining me again this week. Um, I hope you really enjoyed and learned a little bit about cedar and what I know about it and how I use it. Hopefully this medicines it has are able to kind of help you and your family during these times, keep you protected and keep you kind of connected to that culture and the world around you.